And that's it exactly. It is so empowering because you, you know, the, the ability to be able to move at any time in any direction without having to haul yourself up from a chair or, you know, really work on it. It's just, it's amazing um, to be able to have that ability and that skill at any age and everybody can do it. Uh, I am certified in something called Feldenkrais. So mm -hmm. if the listeners have ever heard of the Feldenkrais method, it is all over the world. Uh, it originated from an Israeli man. Uh, his name was Moshe Feldenkrais, which is why it has such an unfortunate name. Um, but it is, um, it's a movement modality. I explain it as a highly sophisticated form of neuromuscular reeducation based on the scientific principle of neuroplasticity, meaning that our brains, our bodies, our nervous system, keep in mind our bodies as well, are mm. endlessly malleable, flexible, um, changeable during the entire course of our lifetime. So what we do in Feldenkrais is we start moving very slowly. We start moving very mindfully. We turn off all the devices, pay attention to how we're moving, how we feel, the sensations that are coming up as we move. And when I look back at it, intuitively, that's kind of what I was doing in some way, shape, or form, but I was making it up when I was trying to get myself out of that chronic pain situation. And it's exactly what you were doing, moving slowly and figuring out how you could heal your back without mm. having those sensations being dulled by medications. Mm. So it's a very gentle, but yet powerful way of moving. And it's also very similar to my martial art. Because when we're learning a new technique, new movement pattern, we're moving very slowly and very carefully. And, and of course, as we get better, we still move slowly and carefully because we can really hurt our partner. But really paying attention to where you are in space. Uh, something that would be similar if the audience would be more familiar with something, Tai Chi. Tai Chi mm. is really, I think Tai Chi is the bomb. It's just a mm. really wonderful way to get started of really just getting that mind body connection. Um, Pilates used to be that way, but it's kind of been hijacked by the mm. fitness industry that, you know, it's power Pilates and power this and power that the power is the inner strength that's already in you and training your body in a way that it can flow is so much healthier for your joints, for your bones, for your muscles, for all of the, even the lymphatic fluid flowing through you. It just, the body is an incredible creation and you can do anything as long as, you know, the entire course of your life, as long as you treat it well. Yeah, I mean, I do use some Feldenkrais exercises in my work and I also use Tai Chi as well. I mean, obviously I've been, I've been taught by Paul Check who, you know, he uses those techniques in, in his own mm -hmm. work as well. Um, so, yeah, I have some experience of, of Feldenkrais. I wouldn't say I, I certainly don't know everything. Mm -hmm. I've not studied it, but yeah, I've mm -hmm. certainly felt the benefit of some of his exercises. And interestingly, I use them as part of my warm up for tennis as well. Really? That's mm. awesome. I mean, when I started training, because it's a, it's a four year long training program. So it's kind of grueling in a way, but also very liberating at the same time. And I remember going to ballet class after I had finished like a two week training session. And one of the women actually came up to me and said, you know, if your legs get any longer, we're going to have to raise the ceiling. <laughs> and I thought, well, that's a very lovely compliment. But instead of doing the silly stretches, typical ballet things, you know, throw your leg on the bar and do these eh, eh, side bending. I would just lay on the floor and do a little bit of the, you know, like you said, the, the movement, the loosening of the hips and the back. And it's just such a nice way to warm up. And then when you stand up, you just feel so invigorated and flexible. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. As I say, I, I learned those exercises from Paul Check, and they are actually in my book. It's called the tennis biomechanics manual as part of the warm up for for playing tennis so before you play tennis mm -hmm. some of the exercises that i suggest people do are, are, are feldenkrais exercises mm 